Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kimbro Heavy Duty Large Servo Saver. This is for the uh, Stampede two wheel drive specifically, and uh, it's going to be a direct replacement part for the stock one. It has a tendency to just, I don't know if you can see in there, once you put a heavy duty servo on there, it's going to, it's going to, the spring's going to sprung on you. So, um, this is kind of the old school way to uh, remedy that problem. So let me get this out of the package here and uh, we'll be right back. I got a same package, you get your selection of servo horns, so focus. You got your Futaba, Savox, Airtronics, and I believe JR. You get your servo saver, pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's made of a heavy duty uh, like a Delran or a uh, nylon. And you also get a self-tapping screw if you're going into a composite geared servo. So right now, what we've got to do is go ahead and get the old servo saver off. And make sure you have your servo centered when you pull it. Just so you don't have to fart with getting the center back. It's a really long screw in here. Okay. Our servo saver's off. And on the back side of your servo saver, there's going to be two lock nuts for these two turnbuckle screws. So you need to get those off as well. You can see that right there. It's lock nuts. So on this particular stampede, it's the older version, not the XL5. So you're going to have all uh, standard hardware kind of tough and it's easier if you take this brace off but I'm lazy I don't want to oh, it's gonna make me in that okay don't have a run without this brace I did it one time and uh, paid the price ended up snapping a chassis in the front a stupid kid but I had fun so that's what this is all about right that screw is already loose oh self tapping go figure this one as well as not much to that one either okay now we've got that out of the way we can get at what we need to get at here screwdriver, get it in there, you're going to have to enlarge the holes on the Kimbro servo saver, it's meant for like linkages on a plane or something, they just, they're not very big, so you will have to enlarge those holes, way too big for this job. Okay, so here's our factory servo saver. As you can see, it is uh, definitely sprung there. And uh, here is the aftermarket Kimbro servo saver. So we're going to have to choose out two holes. Sampy uses these two outers. So we'll go ahead and get these two outer holes opened up. All right, we've got our servo saver holes opened up. So we can accept the uh, screws. And what we're going to do, we're just going to reverse everything that we just pulled loose. size screwdriver here. Any of those really short ones for this job be great. Okay, so it's tight. Come back, hit the other side here. I want to pull this one off, but I'll show that to you in a minute. That spline's not going to be any good anymore. Come on, go in there. You just came out of there. It's tight. 
Lost my nut. Hold on, I find a nut. All right, found a nut. Let's go get this thing reassembled. Traxxas servo adapter, and you're gonna to want to find the one that's for your servo. They're able, they're labeled here. Airtronics High Tech and Futaba. I believe this is a Futaba style. Yes, it is Futaba. And now we're just gonna go back and center it best you can. Install your screw. Find my screw. Where did it go? Here it is. You don't want to tease out there, just little, some airplane weights to keep the front end down. <laughs> that kind of work. Looks a little bit easier to drive. But not much. Okay guys, so if you need a heavier duty servo saver for your Stampy two wheel drive, there you go, Cambro extra heavy duty servo saver, extra large, sorry, or large, I'm sorry. But um, yeah guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.